I bowen do e pute grade 11 science chapter number 3 is in front of you we are here to talk about mixtures once again and video number 5 is in front of you factors affecting solubility that's in front of you at the end of the lesson you will be able to understand factors for solubility and properties of matters in solubility without further delaying let's get into the subject shall we let's do an experiment that you already know and the first experiment we're taking two small beakers and we are adding water on which 80 degrees celsius to your left side and in the right side it is about 25 degrees celsius now we are taking two equal amount of sugar and we are trying to dissolve it and let's see when we are stirring it which one is dissolving faster as you saw 80 degrees celsius was faster to dissolve that says temperature is a factor affecting the solubility of a solute in a given solvent in 80 degrees celsius water it was faster to get dissolved but 25 degrees celsius was less faster or slower than 80 degrees celsius that mean the temperature is a definite factor affecting the solubility of a solute in a given solvent the next experiment we are taking the same beaker one with the salt at 25 degrees celsius and the other one with sugar at 25 degrees celsius in this occurrence also we are taking the same amount of salt and sugar and we are putting in respect to both and let's see which one is faster yeah you came to know that salt was faster to dissolve than sugar it says nature of the solute here the solute was salt and sugar respectively affecting the solubility as well so the temperature and the nature of the solute we came to know in our third experiment we are taking another water in sugar to your left side and the right side you are taking kerosene in sugar and let's see we are taking equal amount of sugar here as well and we are trying to put that one in water and kerosene what happens let's see after stirring it water to dissolve faster and kerosene is slower and it is still getting dissolved that says nature of the solvents also affects solubility nature of the solvent affects the solubility also now it says according to the observation of the above activities it's confirmed that the following factors affect solubility those are number 1 temperature we already know the second one is about nature of the solute and the nature of the solvent as well this nature and then of the solute and nature of the solvent are called properties of matters what are those properties of matters that's because it's related to the matter but we are using temperature is outside that is right now the characteristic properties of matter are imparted by the particles that make the matter now these particles sugar salt kerosene oil water these are all the matters which are made the water is a nature of the solvent kerosene also the nature of the solvent what about the sugar that's the nature of the solute and the salt is also the nature of the solute now there is something that you should know the nature of the molecules which consist of the solute and solvent is factor that determines the solubility what exactly is determining is the nature of the molecules which constitute the solute the water molecules molecules in the kerosene molecules in the sugar and molecules in the salt that is the one which is determining the solubility we understood that one now in grade 10 you have learned about the polarity of a chemical bond based on the polarity chemical compounds can be yes defined as polar and nonpolar not only that at the same time chemical compounds can also be classified into organic and inorganic also that also we learn in our grade 10 first chapter itself now polar and 
non-polar and organic and inorganic when we are taking solutes and the solvents we can categorize like polar organic solute and another one polar organic solvents you see this one like that as per the classification from the book there is a beautiful chart it's coming to you organic polar organic non-polar inorganic polar and inorganic non-polar are there if you see organic polar you can find alcohol formalin acetone under organic polar and organic non-polar hexane benzene carbon tetrachloride or inorganic polar water ammonia hydrogen chloride and inorganic non-polar carbon disulfide liquid carbon dioxide based on the above classification a general concept on solubility such as the one below can be composed now this chart is a very very important chart for you to remember keep this one in your mind every time and it's going to be your examination support now look at that i'm going to take the polar organic and polar inorganic ethanol is a polar compound definitely and water is a polar compound ethanol is a polar compound and the water is a polar compound therefore ethanol is soluble in water here you have to be sure about polar polar that's right now let's see another example ammonia is a polar compound and water is a polar compound as well in the same way both are inorganic though therefore ammonia dissolves in water it's not a concern that inorganic or organic but it both has to be in one category polar polar non-polar non-polar if it is a polar and non-polar it will not dissolve now let's see what is on that person's hand it's grease right now non-polar solutes are soluble in non-polar solvents let's understand that one grease is a non-polar solute now kerosene is a non-polar solvent therefore what you have to do when you have grease in the hand you cannot just apply water and wash away that is right you want to find kerosene to wash that one so grease is a non-polar solute kerosene is a non-polar solute therefore grease dissolves in wet kerosene not in water because water is polar now you understood that have you seen this one fine non-polar solutes are soluble in non-solvent non-polar solvents let's understand another one jack glue you call it as kohel koheli in singhalese or in tamil they used to call pisin so jack glue is a non-polar solute now kerosene is a non-polar solvent if you want to wash away jack glue you want to have kerosene not water so therefore jack glue is soluble in kerosene none other than that so on the on that account it can be concluded that solutes and solvents of similar polarity properties dissolve in each other like dissolves like so benzene and the water is over there in this picture when you are taking the benzene on top of water it is not getting dissolved why is that because benzene is in this organic non-polar and the water is in organic polar so here the biggest concern is polar and non-polar when you're mixing water with the benzene it will not mix together so you understood that also it was clear and we understood end of the session definitely what are the factors for solubility that is right nature of the solute nature of the solvent and the temperature and properties of the metals in solubility like polar non-polar polar to polar dissolves and non-polar to non-polar dissolves what else we understood the lesson very very clearly and let's move to the other section and learn further ahead bye bye take care of yourself until i meet you in another beautiful session